Okay, if you turn to page three, we're going to do a quick review on solving an equation with a variable on both sides. So 2x plus 4 equals 3x minus 5. I notice I have a variable on both sides. I don't want that, so I'm going to take it away from one of the sides. I get 4 equals x minus 5. Now I add 5 to both sides. 9 equals x. So now I'm going to rewrite my equation and do a check. When I do my check, wherever I see an x, I'm going to put a 9. Now I'm actually going to do the math. 2 times 9 is 18 plus 4. 27 minus 5. That's 22. That's 22. Check. And the check works. Okay. Now we're going to do number 2. Now for number 2, the first thing I have to do is simplify the left hand side. It's not simplified because I see parentheses. So I'm going to have to distribute my negative 2. Now notice when I distribute my negative 2 to the negative 2, I'm going to get a positive number. So this becomes negative 6x plus 4 equals 3x plus 1. This becomes, I combine a 2x and a negative 6x, I get negative 4x plus 4 equals 3x plus 1. I'm going to add 4x to both sides to zero out the x from this side. I'm going to subtract 1. Now, look at this step. I'm going to purposely do something wrong. See if you can figure out what I'm doing wrong. And now I'm going to say divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 7 thirds. Because this is the type of answer I see sometimes. What you did wrong was, even though the variables on the right hand side we divide by whatever is multiplying the variable. We want to isolate x, so we want to get x by itself. 7 is multiplying x. To undo that, we divide by 7. So the answer is x equals 3 sevenths. Okay? Now, we're going to do number 3. So, for number 3, 2x minus 6 equals 5 plus 2x minus 17. Okay, first I'm going to distribute. I get 2x minus 12 equals, now I'm going to combine my 5 and negative 17 and 2x. So 2x minus 12 equals, ooh, that becomes negative 12, 2x minus 12. Now I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And then I'm like, uh-oh, oh no. I did something wrong. My variable disappeared. So let me just double check my work. 5 negative 17 is negative 12, 2x. Wow, my variable disappeared. I wonder what that means. Well, when your variable disappears, you decide, did I end up with a true statement or a false statement? Okay, well negative 12 does equal negative 12. That is true. If you, your variable disappears, <coughs> now you can only do this if your variable disappears, and you end up with a true statement, that means your answer is all real numbers. And that's how we write all real numbers. That means any number I pick for x will work. I'm just going to pick a random number 5. Let's see if it works. 2 times 5 minus 6. Does that equal 5 plus 2 times 5 minus 17? I don't know. Let's see. 5 minus 6 is negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. This becomes 5 plus 10 is 15 minus 17 is negative 2. Look, it works. So when your variable disappears, don't automatically think you did something wrong. It could be that the answer is all real numbers. Now, let's look at the next one. 2 times x minus 6 equals 5 plus 2x minus 11. I'm going to distribute 2x minus 12 equals, now I'm going to combine my 5 and negative 11, 2x minus 6. I'm going to subtract 2x, subtract 2x, 
Now I end up with negative 12 equals negative 6. And I go, uh-oh, my variable disappeared again. But this time, I ended up with a false statement. So if your variable disappears and the statement is false, that means there is no real number that will make this true. There is no solution. So now remember, it is possible for you to end up with an answer that's all real numbers if your variable disappears and you end up with a true statement. Or you could end up with no solution if your variable disappears and you end up with a false statement. Now turn the page because there's one thing I want to go over and it is number five. So let's do number five together. Five times 2x plus 3 minus 6 plus 3x equals 3 times x plus 3. Okay, so now I'm going to distribute. I get 10x plus 15 minus 6 plus 3x equals 3x plus 9. Now I'm going to combine my like terms, 13x plus 9 equals 3x plus 9. And I highly recommend that you always get rid of, get your variable on one side first. So my suggestion for this is to subtract 3x from both sides. But let's suppose you don't do that. Let's suppose you subtract 9 from both sides and you get 13x equals 3x. A common mistake is to look at this and say 13x does not equal 3x, so this is no solution. That is not true. Because you should never evaluate the truth value while x is still there. Remember, those rules only apply when x disappears. x did not disappear. So let's subtract 3x from both sides. I get 10x equals 0. Now divide by 10, divide by 10, and there is a solution. The solution is x equals 0. So be, beware of situations like this. If you end up with a situation where it says 13x equals 3x, or 5x equals 8x, or 9x equals negative 5x, don't assume that's not true because zero will always work in those situations. So be very careful, never evaluate the truth value while an x value is there. And that's the end of this.